<laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Is it Monday already? Yeah, it's like an M O N D A Y. M O N D A Y. <laughs> it's Monday, don't you cry. Because guess what? It's Monday of a full week before Thanksgiving week. So it's like, I know. We're gearing up for the holidays, Mad. It's like the preseason to the holidays. It you is. Know? We're pre gaming it. We're pre gaming it. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm Jeremy Brave. I'm Maddie Conklin. Yeah, you are. And. Mm hmm. We would be remiss. We are missing some people. Yes, we are. Tom Turton. <gasps> He's live at SDC. Oh my gosh. So I was there Friday, and Tom is there today, you know, sharing all the great holiday festivities you can do in Branson at SDC. And doesn't that speak volumes about <clears throat> we've been there, I was there for festival, Blake was there a few weeks ago now. Like there's so much to do at SDC. So, so it's it's showing like there's just endless possibilities for the holidays. Yes, if I had time, and I didn't have time because so I was rushing, we had an event Friday night. Walking to my shoot at the Opera House, walking back, I walked right beside the cashew chicken in a cone. <gasps> Which I It took like everything in me not to stop and get some. I was gonna say, you, we gotta get some, then we have to try and recreate it. We should. I don't know Let's if do I don't know if we have that uh, capability, but we should try. We should try. <laughs> also, Maddie, I met some amazing, um, well, just one nice lady. Um, and I'm gonna say, Rachel, if you're watching, I hope you are, because I told you to give you a shout out. I would say Rachel is in, I don't know, Upper 20s, mid lower 30s. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was shopping at Price Cutter for something we're making on the show today. Yes. And I was shopping, had my hat on, I was like, blah, blah. And she goes, Are you Jeremy Rabe? I went, Yes, I am. Who are you? Anyway, Rachel and Vinny, I love you so much. You were so kind. They moved here from upstate New York. Wow. And I said, Aren't the, we the winter weather's better here? The winter weather, you know? Okay, yesterday totally threw me for a loop. It was like 70 degrees out. I was putting up my Christmas decorations. I had all the windows open. And I was like, I didn't even play Christmas music. I was playing oldies. Because oh. it just didn't, yeah. it didn't feel right. <laughs> I get it. I was playing Christmas music though. Still, Were you? Yeah. Well, you listen to Christmas music yeah. just all whenever. <laughs> so Rachel and Vinny, if you're watching, she said she enjoys when we dance. So here's a little dance for your Rachel and Vinny. Mm -hmm. We're so mm -hmm. glad. Mm -hmm. you, I'm, I'm glad she was so cute and sweet. And I was just like, you made my day, Rachel. Did you ask what brought them from upstate to here? Because that's quite a jump. That is. And her family, she said their family's still in New York. And she has uh -huh. a brother in like Long Island, I think. <gasps> and then oh, parents Long are Island. Long Island. Let's yes. have coffee. Let's have coffee. Should coffee talk. Coffee. Should we go to New York and visit Lynn Shaw, who's in New York City? They yes, Lynn Island. Shaw, Lynn's Warriors. Then we'll, we're watching. We'll have some coffee. We'll go upstate. She said they got nine feet of snow. I'm like, oh my Lord. I'm, I'm cavelling. I'm, like, I'm cavelling so much. Oh my God. I can't even. <laughs> but love you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyway, there's, they're adorable. Well, that's so fun. And we had a great Great time at Festival of Trees Friday night. We did, yes. Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. You still have to finish watching it. Jen John, Jen John Meyer, our only friend, asked, so does this mean you've watched the movie? He has not yeah. watched the entirety of Christmas Vacation, and you know what is sad? It gets better and more chaotic than it already is. I'm going to finish it this it. holiday season. Okay, good. Just so you know. Thank you. That is the goal. <laughs> I should have watched it already. I enjoyed the first half of it. So. I know. Yeah, well, the yeah. other, the second half is great. Hey, you're just doing it like Wicked did. Yeah. Two parts. Two parts. <laughs> Even Which I'm seeing, by the way, I'm seeing Wicked Wednesday night at 6.20. I'm so excited. It's going to be a Wickedly Wednesday night. You know who's wickedly talented? The amazing Jesse. Roberto Inman. Inman. Me? You? you? Oh, me? Come on. Little old you. Oh, what? well, golly. I'll tell you this. If you guys do end up doing anything cashew chicken related, I'll be around. Are you serious? <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. I I grew up, I mean, this body built by cashew chicken. <laughs> body right. built by cashew chicken. <laughs> yes. That uh, <laughs> explains a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I get winded walking across the studio, but that's fine. Um, that's neither here nor there. Jesse, we got to get you in tip top shape to be a dad. You're going to be chasing gonna after be your little baby. Well, I feel like that part of that is being winded. Yeah, oh, that's Jesse, true. <laughs> Jesse, why do I have a feeling you're, when your child is old enough, your first two stops are, uh, is it Leong's for the cashew oh, chicken? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Mexican Villa. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You're singing to me right now. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I know you. Seven o'clock, I would just dive in to a burrito enchilada style. Head first. I would. And a lot of people out there, you may be, ooh, ooh. I love it. Okay. All right? So, there's that. <laughs> okay, I want to say this. Airbnb has a new icon experience. We've been talking a lot about things that Airbnb has, these like crazy stays that you can have based on you know whatever movie or hit show is going on. Mm -hmm. So they're doing one at the Coliseum 
to partake in an authentic gladiator experience with the new movie coming out. Starting November 27th, anyone courageous enough to take the stage for combat can register to suit up in historically accurate armor and determine if you've got what it takes to emerge victorious. There are two three-hour experiences available as part of a partnership with Paramount Pictures to celebrate the release of the highly anticipated film Gladiator 2. That's in theaters next Friday. I'm sure our fine friend uh, Jen John Meyer mm. is going to have something... Um, uh, all about that. I'm sure she's going to be all about she'll it. She'll be in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so she'll she'll probably have something to say. Did you guys see the first one? I never did. I did not. The one with Russell Crowe? Okay, that, it was Russell Crowe. See, yeah, I, I get it so. mixed up with five, uh, what, 300, which is not the Oh, thing. you're right. Oh, oh, that's, oh. Um, that's what's his name? Uh, not Daniel. Gerard Frank. Butler? Thank Gerard you. Butler. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Yes. Yeah. I just remember the Oscars, because when it won, Elizabeth Taylor, rest her soul, she went, and the winner is... Gladiator! <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, the iconic that, voice. The iconic sorry. voice. No, that's perfect. But yeah. could you imagine if you were a gladiator looking back now, I fought for people to come have this experience. <laughs> you fought nail and tooth just for people to have an Airbnb experience. Yes, with that historically accurate armor, I'm sure. Exactly. I'm sure. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm sure. You know what, by the way, this camera shot we've been doing makes me want to do like one of these. Oh, Going down the stairs. yes. I don't know if you, do you guys know this one? You guys know this one? It's Wait, the escalator. Oh, Jesse! <laughs> oh, my name. That is good. All right. What about All the right. elevator? Just, uh... Elevator. Beep. <laughs> that one? All right. Um, see, I told you, I'm getting winded. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my that gosh, box. I love it. Okay. Uh, that was a request from some folks in the studio wanted me to try that out. I love it. Okay, perfect. It worked out nicely. It All right. Speaking of uh, body built by cashew chicken and other um, delicious foods that I shouldn't be having. Every year, Uber Eats releases a list of the most unique food delivery requests they have received. Mm. Here are some of their most unique combos this year. At number one, scallops and boiled eggs. Uh, Nasty. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Followed by fajitas with French onion soup. I could do that. Yeah. I don't, yeah, that's not too egregious. Uh, fried fish sticks with green tea. Uh, uh, odd combo, um, mm. pepperoni pizza with anchovies. That doesn't seem terribly uncommon, no. but still, not my ideal topping. And at five, somebody out there got some orange cream sickles with tahine. A little sweet and spicy combo for the no, folks there. Mm -mm. Yeah, the most popular delivery request was people asking for no onions. Mm. The most ordered item was a burrito bowl, and I wonder oh, oh, a burrito bowl. if they were uh, a burrito bowl with no onions, please. Mm, just so, yeah, uh, yeah that's... Um, I don't really do the Uber Eats of it all very much. I used to. Do you? No. I no? don't. I know. Why did Whoa. I say that so aggressively? Whoa. That was aggressive, <laughs> no. Maddie. No, I'm sorry. I just, if I want my food quick, I want to go pick it up and get it home quickly because yeah. you don't know how long it's been sitting in the car and then it's cold. And then right. Yeah. And I, I, one thing I just, when my order is wrong, I mean, I'm not going to take it out on anyone, of course. I'm the type to have an incorrect order and drive off with it and be like, whatever. But I just... I feel like I have more control over my order's accuracy. Correct. Myself, yeah. So. yeah. No, that happens to yeah. me all the time. That's why I kind of don't do that anymore. It was kind yeah. of fun. It was like a roulette, like food roulette. Yeah. yeah. What, what am what I going to get, get today? Because you mentioned it. Was it last week that yeah. you ordered Wendy's? I ordered like Wendy's, but I got Archie's Italian Eatery. Yeah. <laughs> Instead. Okay. Well, one time, I mean, I was happy. One time I got Taco Bell, and I ordered like a couple different things, and then the person got there and was like, yeah, they were out of everything you wanted, so I got you this instead. And I was like, what? okay, cool. Did you put in the notes, you're at liberty to make my decisions? Like, what? <laughs> I, know. I know. I was like, all right, great. I'll just eat this thing that was half the value of what I actually ordered. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Thank you. So okay, I'm thinking, because you did so beautifully at I the know. stairs, the escalator. I was like, how can we get Tom in here? Maybe the with escalator. A, maybe it's the escalator? Let me or? see if I can wrangle him in. <laughs> Got him. <gasps> oh, uh-oh. There we go. There we go. I was like, wait. All right. That was an earthquake. Okay, that was an yeah. earthquake shot. Oops. That ain't good. <laughs>